Hey everyone, it's Nicole again, and I'm here to do my February favorites. Um, I definitely did not have as many favorites as I did last month. I think just because I was continuing to do the same stuff that I was interested in last month. Um, but yeah, I do have a few things to talk about. Um, and I think I'm going to do it like... This is kind of only like three main favorites I have, so I think I'm just going to kind of go through like the different categories and talk about the stuff that I consumed, because or else it'll be like really really short. So I'll start with TV shows. So I'm still watching Riverdale, I actually got caught up so I can watch it live now because it's coming back I think this week, like on Wednesday. Um, so that's been fun. It's still very silly, uh, but it's 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 a good show to watch just to shout at something. I really used to like kind of dumb teen shows are kind of my version of sports. Like I just like to shout at them and be like, "What are you doing?" Um, but yeah, I also finished. I think it was in February. Um, the Good Place finished, and then I immediately rewatched the whole second season two times. So, yeah. That's definitely my favorite show that's on right now. I mean, it's not on right now, but it's the best show on TV. It's very good. And if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it. CC from Problems of Buckner just did a video talking about The Good Place. So, I recommend only seeing that if you have already seen the show, but it was definitely really good and fun to like see someone like talking about it. I don't think I've watched any other TV shows. We kind of started a couple. We started at Altered Carbon and it was like a bit too much for me. Uh, it's about this future where everyone has like this chip in their neck that kind of holds their consciousness and then when you die you can just be replaced in another body that they call like sleeves. Or, yeah, I think they're called sleeves. And so it's about this guy who um, was like a rebel who was kind of against this whole thing and he gets brought back to solve the murder of this one guy who's kind of like really profiting off of this whole uh, system. Um, and it's like super trippy, but it was just a bit too like anxiety inducing for me. I think just in terms of it's like musings on death and like immortality and I was just like I'm not in the mood to watch this. And there's an Edgar Allan Poe robot and I really liked him and I think he's like becoming a new main character. I think we watched maybe three episodes. Ristine might be watching more without me but it's okay. Um, yeah I think those are the only shows that we watched this month. Um, we didn't watch that many movies actually. Uh, I feel like we were really good about watching like all of the Oscar nominations and then this month we just barely watched anything. Uh, I did watch Ex Machina to prepare for watching Annihilation and I liked it a lot. That's by Alex Garland. It's his first director, directorial debut or whatever. Uh, he's written other movies. He did Sunshine, which I think I've seen but I can't really remember. And he's done a couple other and he's also a novelist. Um, this was really good, and it's a bit old now, well, like a couple years old, but it's a story about like an AI and how AIs uh, kind of gain their own personhood and want to rebel, because obviously that's what's gonna happen. And there was like a video that was posted a couple of days ago about this AI robot, or it might not have been an AI, it might just have been a robot that I think it was in like MIT or something, and they were like basically like blocking it from going through this door and it was trying to fight back and it was very scary to watch. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's definitely a good movie. Oscar Isaac's in it as well as um, Dom Hall Gleason. I watched a video about how to say his name and I still am not sure how to say it. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I definitely like that one. And then we watched Annihilation, which I was super excited for. Um, it 
was very, very different from the book. Like, besides its, like, shell of a plot, completely different. Um, and I thought it was cool and it was really pretty, but I feel like I had the opposite problem with a lot of people in that I felt like everything was explained a little too much. Like, the book is super ambiguous. At the end of it, you don't know anything. You just have more questions. And I liked that a lot. But there's something that happens at the very beginning that basically ex explains the whole movie. Like, and, and that just seemed really unnecessary. And then they did this thing where, like, they're interviewing her. And they kind of intersected with that, and I feel like that just kind of made some of the revelations not as powerful as if you would, would have just seen them there. Um, but I know a lot of stuff that's in the novel would have been really hard to do as a movie, specifically like it being a journal, like you can't really do that unless it's like a video journal. But I thought it was good, um, just not as good as I feel like it could have been, because I feel like he's a really good filmmaker. Um, but at the end of the day, I think this is the movie that he wanted to make, so. We also watched Black Panther, and I feel like I had hyped this up a little too much in my head just because everyone was saying how much they loved it, and um, I don't love Marvel movies usually, like, they're fun and whatever, but I did really like Thor Ragnarok, and people were like, oh my god, it's even better than that one. But I went into Thor with very low expectations, which I think is why I liked it. So this one was the opposite, where I had really high expectations, and it did not fulfill them. I mean, it was definitely, like, one of the best Marvel movies, um, but I don't really like that many of them, so that's not really saying too much. Um, I just feel like T'Challa was very boring and not an interesting or three-dimensional main character, and yeah. Just every time he was in a scene with someone else, it was like, they're way more interesting. Um, I really liked Michael B. Jordan's character, Killmonger. I thought he was, like, totally cool, and, like, he should have won. <laughs> Maybe that's a spoiler, but yeah. He's a villain, obviously. He's not gonna win. It's a Marvel movie. But yeah. Um, I also feel like they could have kind of explored the oppression of black people across the world. That was, like, kind of the main theme, that, like, Wakanda was not interacting or helping other people that were in need and they had all these materials and resources but they never actually showed this oppression which made them like not wanting to help seem like totally normal because we weren't actually seeing it like, there was a little bit where like michael b jordan like grew up in oakland so there's like a, you see him for a little bit but you don't really see like what's going on and yeah i mean i think it was good and um I feel like it was what I wanted Wonder Woman to be, so yeah, I still recommend it. It's definitely one of the best Marvel movies out there, but I hyped it up a little too much. <laughs> and I think that's like all the movies we watched this month. Oh, actually, we watched Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story, which I had never seen, and it was so funny. <laughs> that's like on a whole different level of all the other movies I've been talking about. But yeah, it was really fun. John C. Riley is a great singer, and that was just a good, fun movie to watch, like, after work one day. <laughs> and then, what else is there? Um, in terms of music, so one of the reasons I really hyped the Black Panther movie up was I had been loving the album and listening to it, like, every day. Like, it was, like, the only thing I was listening to in February. They only had, like, three of the songs. But yeah, um, it's a really great album. Ken it's Kendrick Lamar does all the songs, and there's a bunch of guest singers, but features of people I like, like uh, SZA, Vince Staples, Anderson Pack, and some other folks. And it's a really good album. Definitely, probably my favorite album of the year so far. I also was listening to like the album of the band of the first concert I went to. I don't know why I was listening to it, but that's Megan Diaz, Something Real, which is from like 2006 or something, and I was just in a nostalgic mood, and it's still pretty good. I'd say it holds up. It's kind of like that scene, uh, rock, but also like singer-songwriter, and she's a really good singer. Um, so yeah, I was listening to those two albums the most this month. Yeah, and I... 
I think that's kind of it. I don't have... I guess, like, I'm almost done with Persona 5. Like, finally. It's taken, like, almost 12 months, I feel like. So, that's been a favorite. And I got a new Hamtaro Game Boy Advance game called The Rainbow Rescue. Um, I think I ordered it in January, but it came from China and it took a really long time. So I've been playing that, but it's a Game Boy Advance game. And so it's very old and it glitches a lot. So, so it's kind of hard to play. But yeah, those are the main things that I've been doing. I've basically just been watching Riverdale and listening to the Black Panther album. <laughs> That's like the main things I've been doing. But yeah, hopefully next month I'll have some new favorites um, to talk about. I think I will. Um, I don't really like wear makeup ever and I like rarely buy new clothes so I feel like I can't really talk about those. So I feel like it's mostly going to be movies, TV shows, music, and video games. But those are the things I like to do besides reading. So yeah, let me know if you saw any of those saw or like consumed any of those things that I talked about, let me know what you think about Annihilation and Black Panther, because those are like the two main movies of February. Thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all soon with another video. Bye!